Hello, Leo. Welcome to your weekly reading, October 10th through 16th. So as always, we're going to jump into general love focus and money and career just for this week now. So we have the right way, deserving, and growth. Okay. Okay. You're learning how to work within the energy that you have, Leo. I feel like <laughs> it's not exactly what you want, you know, but it, it, it'll it work for you. It'll get you whatever you deserve. Um, and you're seeing the effects of it this week. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you're in a healing process. Things are getting better. Life is getting better. Um, I do feel like there's a little bit of backbiting. And I say this with the nine of swords because it's like, you don't like what you have to go through. It doesn't seem fair. It doesn't feel comfortable in a way, but it's the best thing for you to do to move forward. You know, um, you're almost worried about where this is going to take you, but it's going to take you further than how you were doing it before. I hope that makes sense to you. Okay. So focus on love. We have impossible things, a consciousness of lack and impasse. Um, this feels like a love relationship is getting boring. It's getting basic, like you're just doing the same things over and over again. Uh, I feel like this is so you don't argue or fight. Um, why do I feel like somebody wants you to change or do things differently, Leo? Or you may want them to do things differently. Yeah. You have an utmost amount of patience and it feels like the person you're dealing with is changing, right? And you're like, okay, well, maybe this will pass. Maybe this will move. Like maybe this will change. Maybe they'll heal. Maybe they'll deal with what they need to deal with. But I feel like this is something that needs your attention. The 10 of wands usually tells me that there's some burnout here, meaning that the old ways don't fit anymore. So there is some change happening and you're going to see glimpses of that, of what needs to be changed if you haven't already. Um, but the person you're dealing with is about to definitely change. Um, and this is, I feel like you're like, okay, I'm going to wait it out. But this is not a situation where you can do that. I feel like it's just going to create more blockages and problems in your relationship if you try to wait it out. Okay. So money and career. We're all mad here, new beginnings and isolation. Um, it looks like you're waiting for a change in career. You don't like where you are. It, may, it feels like there are no rules or like everything just seems out of whack and you're trying to keep to yourself. Yeah. Yeah, you're trying to find new things that you love about your job. That's what I see. Uh, it, it feels like you're waiting on a better job or like a better position for you or a company that will make you happy. But for right now, I feel like you're content where you are. Yeah, you're content where you are. I feel like, um, but you want a job where somebody appreciates you or you can be some sort of leader or you can stand out because it doesn't feel like you're getting this in your job or the position that you're in. And I feel like you're just trying to wait it out until something comes in. It looks like you're actively trying to find a new job or actively trying to move up. Okay. All right, Leo. I love you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.